Hey guys, I'm back with another mini podcast discussing what went down at the Atlanta Open. This is day three. Uh, this is going to be some of the least in terms of uh, least amount of content in terms of the actual matches that went down. The night session was completely rained out tonight. Um, it was supposed to be matches like Francis Tiafo versus Ozlan Karatsa, but those will be pushed back to tomorrow, along with Ben Shelton's first appearance will be tomorrow as well at the tournament. Uh, Shelton will take on uh, Shang, Jerry Shang, who uh, who got a good win today. I got to interview Jerry Shang. I also got to interview Mattia Bellucci as well. Uh, so those were, were the two interviews that I got to do. Uh, the two matches I really got to watch in full today um, in the uh, in the day session. Uh, Shang took on Andres Martin, who's a uh, player at Georgia Tech, so local. A lot of people were cheering for him, but it was... Complete, complete beat down. Martin was uh, not at his best either, missing a lot of shots, but Shang, su such big shots from the back of the court. It was so hot, so sunny earlier in the day before it turned into a huge rainstorm and a thunderstorm, uh, which completely uh, canceled the later uh, later matches. But um, Shang was so good, um, just also redirecting his back end so well, consistently redire redirecting his back end down the line to the back end. Of Shang and uh, he was hitting huge shots that were helped so much by the by the kind of the heat um, and uh, that made the play a little bit faster and it was great uh, Shang absolutely fantastic it was very nice but both players I interviewed today Shang and Bellucci were both so nice uh, Shang was so kind of soft-spoken as you'll see in the interview but fully smiling giving me eye contact the whole time and just really listening to my questions um, we also got a chance uh, as Quality Shot Tennis to interview him at um, at Wimbledon as well. So uh, it's great to it's great to see him again here in Atlanta, and uh, for me to get a chance to interview him was qu quite great. And uh, yeah, um, got some interesting thoughts from him on his goals and um, what he thinks of his next challenge in Shelton. And then listen, the Bellucci versus Manorino. Uh, watched the full second and third set. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing uh, match. Uh, two hours, 41 minutes. Manorino, the number two seed. He's been on a bit of a losing streak, though, even on grass, which is supposed to be his best surface. But listen, Bellucci, I had not seen much of Bellucci play. I'm going to be honest. I had not seen that much. I saw clips of him at Wimbledon, saw clips of him in Challengers. I had not seen that much, though. Uh, so being able to see this full match, his mentality, got. I saw it right away. Very gutsy. Uh, shots, um, like in the first set, like 6-6 six, six in the tiebreaker, he just goes for a backhand down the line. Uh, and his backhand is so impressive. Belushi's backhand was so impressive to me throughout this match. He, he, uh, he was saying in the interview that Manorino was uh, making it some tough backhand back in rallies, but really he was, I felt like, the person who was uh, getting, the, getting the momentum in most of those backhand back and rallies, having the momentum, and Manorino was missing a lot of those shots in the backhand back and rallies. It was around the uh, second set where Manorino started doing better on the backhand to backhand and uh, hitting his backhand better. And it really came down to like a not eight or nine deuce game, like a game that had eight or nine deuces at 1-1 one, one in the second set. And after that, it seemed like Manorino was starting to pick up all the momentum and Bellucci was maybe going away. Bellucci didn't really go away at all. He saved six set points in the second set before Manorino finally closed it out at 5-4. And then Bellucci just stepped it up a notch in the third set. Um, absolutely fantastic. Great athleticism from him. I mentioned it in the interview as well, which you can check out on the channel. But I mentioned as well that uh, he was hitting a lot of forehand slices. But uh, he was building the points out well, and uh, he's got he's still got lots of room to grow. I, I, keeping a big eye on Bellucci, a big eye on Bellucci, and just the most, just the nicest, most locked in, humble, humble guy in the interview. I mean, you'll see. But he just had this most inc incredible, impressive, important victory in his career. Whole interview, he just starts like knocking himself like that, like saying, "Listen, I could have done that better. I could have done this better." The Yannick Sinner like mentality is Italian. Um, not in no relations to Tomas Bellucci as well, um, who's Brazilian, uh, Italian player Bellucci, absolutely great, um, just fantastic, definitely on my radar at this point, um, and yeah, I mean, it was a lefty versus lefty battle, and it was, uh, I mean, it was uh, Mattia who's hitting the bigger shots, Manorino played quite well too, but Bellucci was just too strong, and mentally so good, so, so good mentally, 
in this match. He had a couple of big serves when it mattered down some break points to the third sound to save some big moments. And um, yeah, very, I mean, clearly a very emotional kind of locked in player who uh, understands what needs to get be done in the big moments. Even even to get the final break point in the, the third set, an absolutely extraordinary, I believe it was a backhand cross court winner, super deep in the court for a passing shot behind Manorino when Manorino was like a few few feet inside the baseline. I didn't rewatch that point, so I maybe got got it quite a little bit wrong what exactly happened, but it was it was amazing. I mean, Belushi played absolutely awesome, and uh, getting a chance to talk to him was great. Um, like, uh, the, the interview yesterday against uh, uh, with uh, Mayotte and also this one, uh, very proud of these interviews, and I, I hope to do more with the players. It's been it's been quite exciting, and uh, yeah, then the then the rain happened, so I wasn't able to do that. So what I'm going to do instead, especially with the second seed Man Reno now out, I'm gonna look at what the Atlanta Open tournament looks at looks like at the moment. I'll give my kind of, I'll give my preview of uh, of the draw. I guess you could say, and what uh what it looks like at this point. If I could find the draw here for Atlanta real quick, and then I could do that. But um, but yeah, I mean Shelton's still left. So here's the round of 16 as we have it so far. So we've got Shelton versus Shane. We've got Goffin versus Purcell. W. Goffin versus Purcell. We've got Jordan Thompson versus Mayotte. Opelka versus Davidovich Fokina. McDonald versus Nishioka. Karatsa versus Tiafo. Walton, lucky loser, versus Rinderknesh. And also Bellucci versus Manorino. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of good players have left on the draw. I mean, listen, players like Goffin, uh, players like... Karatsev, you know, Opelka, Davidovich Vokina, like, these are a lot of big names. Ben Shelton, obviously, um, a huge name at the moment, near top of the rankings, but, um, yeah, well, I did actually, I also mentioned a few uh, matches that finished up, which I did not realize, but, yeah, obviously, Rinder Kanesho beat Walton, and, yeah, I said without even thinking, but Bellucci beat Manorino, so those two are already in the quarterfinals, but uh, for the rest of the draw, I mean, uh, Goffin is interesting. Shapovalov was a big kind of unforced error, unforced error machine in that match. I mean, Shapovalov pretty much dictates all of the matches that he plays, whether that's with unforced errors or with winners. But that's kind of what happened there. So, but still, I mean, Goffin's looking pretty good. Um, Shelton versus Shane, uh, that should be really good. Shane did get the win last year, but I think Shelton's going to be determined. I mean, he's missing at, like he's missing the Olympics for a reason. And yeah, I mean, coming into um, Coming into the U.S. Open defense of the semifinals, I think he's going to be determined for revenge. I think Shelton's definitely going to get it done, in my opinion. I think Ben's got it. Uh, Thompson and Mayotte should be really good. I mean, Mayotte was impressive, but I think Thompson's got it. Fokina versus Opelka should be quite good. Um, Opelka was really, really good today. So I'd watch out for that. Definitely watch out for Bellucci. I think he should like his chances against Rinder Kinesh, even though Rinder Kinesh has been playing well. I mean, Walton's been playing really good, and that was a good win for Rinder Kinesh in straight sets. Also, a good straight sets win over J.J. Wolf, who's the semifinalist last year. So, I mean, these are all really interesting names left in the draw. I mean, it's hard to see arguments against Ben Shelton, to be honest. But, um, I mean, with players like Thompson, Fokina, and even like a Bellucci, uh, Tia, uh, TFO, Karatsa, I mean, these are dangerous names. So, uh, how do I think this draw is going to unfold? I mean, I think Shelton gets through the top half. I, I don't think Fokina is in the best form right now to really get that far. Thompson could be another danger threat here. So Thompson and Shelton would be the two main names I look at there. Then the bottom half, Karatsa versus Tiafo. I, that should be a great match tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope I can interview the winner of that one as well. Um, amazing match in Washington last year. And um, they played again as well afterwards, and it was very close too. Uh, very close after that, but I can't remember exactly where it was. If I could look that up real quick. Um, oh, it was in Tokyo. And uh, Karatsev got the win there in revenge against Ti uh, Tiafo. So, um, yeah, I mean, that should be... They split those matches. This is, like, kind of the tiebreaker. So, really excited for it. Really, really excited. I think this could be one of the best matches of the tournament if it... Uh, and it should be one of the best matches of the tournament. Um, and then, yeah, I think Bellucci is really somebody to watch. I would expect him to beat Rinderknesh. 
I, I could see Bellucci getting in the, through there. If I'm making my best bet, I got to go with Tiafo. Got to go with Tiafo. I got to go with Shelton. Although I could see a Jordan Thompson upset, to be honest, in that top half. Because Thompson, Thompson's underrated. He, he, people don't really talk about Thompson, but he's very good. He won a uh, title in Acapulco earlier in the year, 500 title. I mean, he's, he's quite good. So I would, um, or was it Los Cabos, actually? It might have been Los Cabos. No, Los Cabos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 250 in Los Cabos, but still a good title for him. So, I mean, Atlanta's a 250. He could get it done. So, I would not fully discount Thompson, but, but yeah, I think Shelton and Tiafo could be the final, could well be the final. We've had a lot of American champions here. It would be quite fitting if it's an All-American final. And, uh, yeah, I would, I would pick Ben Shelton to win it for sure between those two. I think he's the more confident. So, anyway, that's my kind of breakdown of the tournament. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow. I'm hoping for a big, it's going to be a big, full day tomorrow so stick around look out for this mini podcast where i'll be talking much more about matches and interviews and players i see and like stuff like that but um yeah it's really cool it's it's really cool being in atlanta I, it's a really I, I recommend if you could find any way to come down here uh atlantic station where the tournament is held and it's a really laid back nice atmosphere lots of good food and restaurants and places and the tournament is really well held and organized this year so um, it's really great, and uh, I love the players just walking around kind of the grounds and stuff. It, it, it's really cool, and getting to speak to them is just another level. So, anyway, uh, but yeah, if, please don't forget to subscribe, call the shot tennis. Please don't forget to like the video as well, and yeah, join in for tomorrow, uh, please, for all of that. And check out the interviews I did today with Shane and uh, with Bellucci as well. I really enjoyed that Bellucci interview and the Shane one as well. Shout out to both those guys. All right, I will see you guys at the next one.